Are you also afraid that one day a hacker will come and will take away all your users' password? Then, my friend, you are in the right place. I will make sure that you don't do such mistakes to store your users' password in a very encrypted way, so that you can prevent your database from rainbow attack. So, Shivam is here, so you don't need to go anywhere. Let's get started. So guys, the thing is, let's understand how an application and authentication works. So first, what we have is we have a user. So user has a username, uh, which can be email or uh, just a username and a password. So what will happen? So when you go to a website, you log in, you put your username and you put your password. That's the basic flow of a traditional authentication if you are not considering OAuth, okay? So that's how we used to log in in those days. And many websites previously used to store password in plain text. So no matter what, you will not store your password in plain text. Yeah, that's that's it. So I this this uh, concept will be applicable in any application, whether it's Java, Python, Rust, Go. So I will just uh, come here in the user. Uh, first, I'll show you the schema. So this is the schema. So user has this ID created at updated at its its default. You can just ignore it. And uh, user will have a username, email and password. So all this matters for right now. Okay. So email and password. So that's it. So if I will go in this user controller, I'm using fastify by the way. So if I go in user controller and I go to this sign up. So what this does is you can ignore TypeScript if you don't know. It's pretty simple. I'm just getting name, password and email and uh, then I am hashing the password. Okay, so we never store password in plain text. Please never do that. Always encrypt your password so that even someone gains access to the database. They want no shit about the user. Yeah. You heard it right. So if I'll go to this function hash password, so what it does is pretty simple. I'll explain you and I'll put this file in my git uh, gist or GitHub somewhere so that uh, you can copy paste this. And yeah, I, I, I am being honest. So, all right, so let's, let's see what uh, will happen. Um, okay, so here this has like encrypt function. So I'll, uh, explain you what these are people still use bcrypt so which i was also going to use but then i stumbled upon a stack overflow post and that guy suggested you don't need any additional modules you can just use the built-in crypto so i'll just do const uh, crypto uh, it should work by default i think so if i do crypto so you will see it has a lot of function and if i do uh, crypto dot dot random bytes so this will generate a buffer so i can put any number i want so if i'll put one so it will generate a array of like buffer of uh, one byte so it can be any number okay so let's store this somewhere so crypto dot random bytes uh, or let's just do like if I will do four, so you will see it has one, two, three, four, and you can multiply this buffer. Okay, this is in hex format. So this is in hex. So it will be two times of whatever you put here. So if I put this and if I do dot two string, so uh, it can take like UTF eight as well, but it won't show all the characters here. So you can see, so we get this random stuff here. So this is generating random bytes. That's, that's it. And to make it usable, we will just make it hex. Okay. So we get this hex value. Okay. Make sure you multiply this to get the length. So if I put four, so it will be one, two, three, four. 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ओके सो दैट्स हाउ दिस इज वर्किंग ऑल राइट सो नाउ वी हैव दिस दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रैंडम बाइट थिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड साल्ट सो प्रीवियसली वट पीपल यूज टू डू दे यूज टू स्टोर साल्ट इन द ई एन वी सो इट लाइक फॉर एवरी यूजर्स पासवर्ड वी वर यूजिंग द सेम साल्ट सो इट वॉज नॉट दैट सिक्योर ऑल राइट सो नाउ वट वी विल डू इज वी विल इनक्रिप्ट दिस पासवर्ड हाउ वी विल डू दैट सो we have a script here okay so what's this a script so if i will type crypto dot a script so there are two function one is a script sync and one is a script which will take a call back so a script sync will uh, take so if i will uh, mm, 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 do shift k so it will give us the definition so it it says password salt and a password can be binary like salt binary like key length and that's it so we put the original password let's see a b c d and then salt will be that random generated stuff it can be anything like you can manually pass as well which we will not do and how many length we want okay of the encryption stuff so let's uh, do this and uh, i will manually put the uh, password let's see a b c d and this will be cryptographically encrypted so there is no way in a hell that you can decode this and get a b c d okay and we will put this after this and we will put how many length let's suppose 32 see we get this again buffer so if we put like 10 we will get this 20 like 10 buffer and we can just this is buffer so again we can just do two string and we can use utf8 here as well but to support click this is the encrypted password how someone can extract like a b c d from this this is this is impossible right now so i'll just do hex so that it's readable in any database okay and that's it that's all the function we have here so i have added some js doc to make stuff easy so what uh, i will do is like encrypt password is doing just it takes password and salt and it encrypts it right here okay and uh, then this is um return a string so this is like i am calling this hash password i made a function which i will use while storing the database so this is how i am generating the salt uh, which i showed you this is 16 like you can make anything and then i am calling this encrypt password which we have here and i am just passing the password and salt and i returned the salt like for 64 like it will be password first it will be password encrypted hash this thing will be uh, first then this salt will be appended so i am just doing this plus salt so that later when we encrypt the password again so here you will see uh, we have this match password function it takes the password and hash this hash has like this encrypted password and little bit of salt okay yeah so i am just doing slice so this will give me the salt after 64 we have salt and from 0 to 64 length in a string we have original password hash okay and to get the current password hash which user is supplied while logging in so this is encrypt password again we are going to encrypt password with the salt which we extracted and then we are just going to compare it and this is it this is all you need to implement for password manager in any application it doesn't have to be javascript it can be anything okay so now i will show you how this works in the user controller so here is this sign up function so we get this name password and email so and then we have this hashed password so this is just hashing the password and whatever we are supplying this is just passing that to the hash password function and this will give you the hash string so i'll bring my terminal here 
and as you can see like we get this and after 32 we multiply it by 2 we get 64 like buffer and after the last 32 uh, characters are the salt in this okay and let me show you the live demo all right guys i use this tool called http pi and i'll use this to sign up so the route is now slash user sign up and we pass name email and password so if i do abcd.com so user has been created this is the message we are sending user created if everything goes good and then what we are going to do is we are going to log in okay so our username was a b c d okay a b c d let's see if it works user logged in so now let's dig the user logged in function i am just extracting password and username from the json and again i'm using fastify and this is the hashed password so if i'll go in the console so you can see these are the hashed password so you the hacker cannot make any sense from this data so uh, what would have happened like uh, here i am just putting this or keyword to find user with email and username and then i just check if user is like if there is any user so user not found or i should just put this message for more security otherwise someone can ddos and then i'm just calling this match password function and i'm just passing the password first like you can see it takes the password then it takes the hash so this is the hash which we stored in database let me bring the database here so i'll refresh this so as you can see we have this uh, user here so this is shivam user and uh, uh, here we have this email as well okay so let me zoom a bit so this is all we have and if you will go this password is this this long okay this long stuff and this is tool called beekeeper studio you can use it to do stuff good stuff and about is null we can type something and blah 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 all that stuff okay all right and one more thing like we could just do is user logged in and data would be user zero okay that's it if we log in again we should get this okay all the things and uh, one more issue we would have faced if we did not have generated the if we did not generate the uh, salt randomly so if i go to the password manager so we are generating random salt let's suppose if this was hello abc i love priya or whatever kind of stuff so what would have happened is if someone is typing abc and uh, we are using the same salt then this thing would be same and if somehow user tries to like rainbow attack maybe i don't know to call it so if they try to do this like uh, the hash will be same like if some user has the same password then you can imagine like they can log into others people account if somehow they get their email all right so let me make it more clear let's suppose password is uh, abc and the salt is uh, one zero aff like yeah so abc user has this password and abc at bbc.com and another user has this same password and we are not randomly generating this salt so the new user is like cbc at bbc.com so what they do is they like make the same password abc uh, let's copy this they make the same password and somehow like instead of typing bbc he he manages to type 
A B C and the both user has same password. So he will be logged in. He would be able to log into this account. Okay. But right now we have different different salt. So like this won't happen. So I guess that's it for this video guys. So if you learned something, if you enjoyed something, okay. If you did anything, then make sure to smash that smash a whack or like a button. And if you have any doubts or question or suggestions, please post them in the comments. And if you have not subscribed yet, what you are doing, press that red, red, red button, make it gray, gray, gray. And also turn on notification so that you don't miss any such updates. I keep doing these stuff. I'll keep sharing lot of information and yeah and if you want to support my work patreon link is you you can do that yes you can it will be great help to keep for me to keep making such content and keep educating you thank you bye bye have a great day or night bye take care take care make sure you share this video with your friends yes they will get to know and if you are not following me on twitter then please do all the social links are